What? What? Ah! Eat my what? Better than Mike. 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 Dude! Better Mike! Than Mike. Suck my better balls! Better than Mike! Dude, I was nervous for you. Oh, wait, that was from zero? Yeah, apparently. Well, to put it simply, I was not expecting to fluke this from 66. My fluke was so unexpected, dude. This section from 80 to 90 is so ch chokeable. And the moment I got to the memory, I was just like, please. And I actually ended up fluking it. I got so lucky on this, man. I don't think I got, I think I got three attempts past the 58 ship, which is insane. So I've already calculated it in my raw footage. My total attempt count was 18,369, which is a little more than Spectrum Cyclone, which is so good. That is way less than I was expecting to take because this level is hard. Oh my gosh, man. Fog. I just, I really cannot believe that I just fluked it, dude. That was so unexpected. I didn't expect to beat it for another week. I'm not going to lie because I was struggling with this level hard. But here I am. So I want to thank my boy Trio for recommending this to me. Because this level, this is such a good level. Like just thematically, song-wise, gameplay-wise, just atmosphere-wise. This level is all around such a good level. It's probably the best on the extended list or one of the best at the very least. It's just, it's so good. Getting into the gameplay, the gameplay is very fast and very timing-based. The timings in this level are extremely tight and fast timing based gameplay is very similar to how Wazaretta was and as a lot of y'all know my experience with Wazaretta was not the best. I'm not the best at this type of gameplay. It took me a little under a week to learn the level. It took me like 12,000 attempts to learn it and while the learning wasn't too bad it still took a long time to get it down. Moving into the gameplay this level is really fun. Um, although it's not my favorite level in the game because like I'm just I'm not the best at this type of gameplay So I did get very aggravated with it sometimes this level is so good Everything from like 61 to 100 is so much fun. It's really hard in some points like the 85 wave is Really freaking hard the whole ball and robot section from 61 to 66 is oh my gosh that part kicked my ass 40 to 61 was also super fun. I was not a big fan of the duel at 49. I don't think many people are. Slayer himself went into my friend Tria's stream and apologized for it. So I think most people don't like it. I will say one of my bigger complaints with that section is the 58, the ship, the gap at 58 is a really big choke point. I died there quite a bit from zero. It's really freaking hard, dude. That ship is, it's a massive choke point. That's probably one of my biggest complaints about that level. Like I would die to it constantly from runs and from zero. So I, it was very frustrating and I would say it got consistent, but it didn't because I fluked it. 18 to 40 is definitely the hardest part of this level. That first drop part, I never got consistent with it because it, it was so difficult. It, that part is so damn hard, but it's really damn satisfying. I will say the wave at 35 is like one of the most fun ways I've ever played. It's so damn satisfying to do. And I really liked everything before 30 like 18 to 30 is super satisfying and super fun it got really consistent but that ball starting like that area from 30 to 34 especially the ball i could not get consistent with i mind blocked 33 so hard whenever i played this level from zero from like the second day i could not get past it that ball gave me so many issues it was such a pain in my ass bro and I, again i would say i got consistent with it because it was getting better but I fluked it. Let me revoke my previous statement because my favorite part of this level is the pre-drop. This is one of my favorite pre-drops in the game. Not because it's like overtly fun or anything, but it's just so relaxing and chill and the color palette's so nice. It's just, I don't know. It, whoever decorated that section and just built it the way it is, it's so nice. It's just so relaxing. And every time I get like a far attempt, I would be able to go back to that pre-drop and just kind of chill and relax. And it was really nice. And I wish more levels were like that because so many pre-drops feel so stressful and aggravating. This one was just chill. And I really like that. Sorry if my thoughts are a little rambly. I'm just so shocked that I fluked this. Like this, I don't think I can put into words how flabbergasted I am that I fluked this level, dude. I really cannot believe that I freaking fluked it. That's so insane to me. Overall, I would absolutely recommend this. This is one of the best levels on the list. Like, hands down, this level is so well built and so done. Despite my complaints that I did have with it, I still think this is like one of the best levels in the game. It is so good and it is 100% harder than Nelv. Like, I really did go into this thinking that th that Nelv would be harder, but nah, this level gave me so much trouble. Difficulty-wise, it's such a difficult level, and 
Despite the fact that I beat it in a little over a week, it was tough. And I put in a lot of practice to make sure I would beat it. And that paid off, dude, with my fluke from 66. But, but yeah, I'm still, I, I keep mentioning it, but I'm just so, you could tell by my reaction. I was so shocked from the fluke, bro. But yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mike. Mike also fluked this level. So we fluked this level together and we both apologized to Trio for fluking this level. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, uh, that's really all I have to say. Highly recommend it. Great level. Crazy fluke, man. But yeah, that's all I got.